Hello everybody, here a new video from René from Spain. And I'm, again I'm sitting outside, you know, in the garden a little bit. And um, I would like to make this video because I like to show a lot of things that I have in this bag. You know, it's a very big bag here, you see. And it's full with stuff that I want to show. Oh, Oh, things are falling on the floor. Aye. Anyway, I have to put pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. Things fell on the floor a little bit. But I want to show stuff I've been watching in the shop. Because I have a VHS player and a TV in the shop. Sometimes I also can watch TV. I like to show a little bit, you know, uh, something of that. Some vinyl. Some stuff I bought recently too. One, one thing I bought not long ago is this Life at Sweden. Europe. 30 anniversary show I finally decided to buy it I have a few DVDs already from the later era Europe but I, I just thought I don't really need this one but this is a really cool release it has a very thick booklet in it too very thick one so it's quite cool because a lot of times these DVDs they don't come with anything and uh, a great set list with also with a lot of old songs like A, a Screw of Anger I love that song uh, Girls from Lebanon, Prisoners in Paradise, uh, Wings of Tomorrow, Carrie. Um, also, we have on one song we have Michael Schenker. Schenker, he's on Light Lights Out by UFO. That you, and also we have Scott Gorham from um, Thin Lizzy doing a song, you know, Jailbreak, a Thin Lizzy song. And we have also newer songs that I also like, you know, like um, New Love in Town. Always the Pretenders, it was a single, I remember when it came out. Um, Start from the Dark. Yes. We also play Seven Doors Hotel from the debut album. This is really a must have. I bought this from Amazon and it was not expensive at all. Now I'm going to show some stuff I've been watching in the shop. I've been watching this movie, Lust for Freedom, from 1987. And here we have um, Grim Ripper songs. Two songs uh, by Grim Ripper. One, of course, the title track, Lost for Freedom, and Rock You to Hell. Also, and, they, and those two songs, you know, they keep playing over and over and over in this movie. You can hear them also sometimes where it doesn't need a song, you still can hear the song. You know, it's like crazy. This movie has a lot of action. You know, it's about uh, like kind of a town where women are, are being put in prison and then uh, they cannot leave anymore. Because, you mean know, they put them in prison even without reasons, you know. It's like it's really a crazy town with a crazy cop. But it's quite a cool movie. I always liked it. I also saw this movie, uh, Lucha Sin Limite. And that's No Holds Barrett from 1989. But this is actually a 1991 edition, Spanish edition. And, uh, you know, with uh, Hulk Hogan, of course. It's uh, it's okay. I mean, I, because I like Hulk Hogan a lot, that's why I like the movie. But it's not the, the best thing that you ever find. You know, but the title song, you know, the song to the movie, No Hold Barrett. Uh, that's done by John Joyce, and that's an AOR uh, song, you know, not, not bad. Okay, let's go on with some ACDC I played. You cannot go wrong with some classic ACDC from the 80s. Flick of the switch and fly on the wall, great stuff of course, always nice to play that stuff. Also listen to this bootleg. I bought actually in Italy, I think I remember. If I remember right, I bought this in Italy at a KISS convention in 93, I think it was. And I met Peter Chris there in Italy, Milan. And this is quite a cool um, show. It's 27th of March 1983. An, aud an audience recording. Low sound, but still nice, I wrote down here. This is, of course, with Winnie Vincent. Some great guitar solos. There's even two guitar solos on here. Quite a cool bootleg. The name of the bootleg is 10th Anniversary Tour. That's the name of the bootleg. 
let's move on to the new Megadeth. I don't know if I already showed this one, but this is something I also bought not long ago, because of course it's the new Megadeth album. You know, I already talked, I think, about this album. You know, I, I really, really like it. I like Dystopia more than this one, but still, I'm enjoying this album a lot. I cannot show everything, because it's just Judas Priest. The old day I walk to the shop and I put my Walkman on. And I listen to Painkiller, my favorite Judas Priest album still, 1990, great release. My favorite Ace Accept album, Rec Restless and Wild, you cannot go wrong with this, always nice to listen to it. This is quite a nice soundtrack here, with Fiona, you know, some songs done by Fiona. Uh, yes, quite a few are done by Fiona. She's also in this movie with Bob Dylan, Heart of Fire soundtrack. I bought this in Budapest uh, this summer when I was there. Here we have a very cool tape that I always liked very much from the early 90s. It's a Spanish band and Jared Day is the name of the band. And they released I think two demos and this is one of them. Check out the song Dulce Tentacion by Jared Day. It's on YouTube. All this demo is on YouTube. This is the original thing from back in the day. Great heart and heavy. I really like this uh, tape. Nothing in here. But it's 100% original from back then. Yes, good, good stuff. If somebody remembers that band, let me know. Si alguien sabe quiénes son, Jerry Day, dígalo en debajo de este vídeo. Siempre me ha gustado mucho esta cinta. Metal Heart, Accept Again. I also listened to this when I was walking to the shop the other day. And just a great record, of course. So many great songs on here. Of course, the classics, Midnight Mover, a Scream for a Love Bite. But I also like Too High to Get It Right very much. Living for Tonight is another quite a big hit. You know, just uh, Metal Heart, of course. Great, great tape. Okay. I can't show everything if I'm gonna put some things over. This is one of those tank re-releases on High Roller Records. I already showed these tapes. You know, very good sounding tape. So when I walk to the shop with my Walkman, I like to listen to it. Here we have some Spanish speed metal, Muro, great stuff of course too, Telón de Acero, some other stuff here, I don't need to show everything, but I'm trying to pick out the right things, Sinner, Dangerous Charm, maybe my favorite Sinner album, it's very melodic, it's keyboard orientated, a hard AOR, hard and heavy stuff, you know, a lot more commercial sounding than the early days of Sinner, or the later days of Sinner. But still cool, very cool. Torch from Sweden. Great heavy metal album. Kuni, it's a Japanese uh, guitar player. And uh, here we have different uh, musicians on here. We have, for example, Neil Turbin. The first vocalist of Anthrax, you know, from the Fistful of Metal, he, he is on here. Uh, we have uh, Kevin Dubrow, he also uh, does backing vocals on, on, a, on the track. We have Carl Swan, you know, the vocalist of Lion, you know, Carl Swan. Later we'll show some Lion stuff too, that I'll be listening in the shop. It's great. Yes, talking about Lion, this is the debut album. And here we have, this is no EP, sorry, this is a Japanese only release. And this is uh, the Power Love EP with six songs. See, with six songs. And actually, I made a little note here because the song Love is a Lie, you can hear it in the movie Friday the 13th, the final chapter. And I'm just watching actually the DVD of the final chapter. I think I left it inside, I don't know where it is. Things fell on the floor, but... Oh yeah, it's here, it's here. Yeah. Oh no, it's not here. This is a Europe thing. Anyway, anyway, I'm watching the movie again now. Now with October, 
you know, the 31st is, is nearly there, Halloween. So I like to watch more of those type of movies, you know, now. Another lion over my plate, another lion. And all those, these records were done with the same line up. Great Carl Swan on vocals. Doug Aldrich, you know, he's now in um, The Dead Daisies. Um, Mark Edward on drums, great drummer, you know, very quite famous too. He was, I think, in uh, in uh, Steeler, you know, with Ron Kiel. And Jerry ba uh, Best on bass. This is maybe the most melodic sounding album. It's also melodic, but a little more rough. If you like White Snake, I think you will also enjoy this these albums. You know, but Lion, it's a great band. They were also on the Transformers soundtrack. You know, back in the mid '80s. Iron Maiden. You can't go wrong with this album. Everybody knows this album. But there's not much I have to tell you about this, of course. I mean, actually, I'm going to say nothing about it. It's just a killer release. More Iron Maiden. It's actually a Spanish release. It's El Número de la Bestia. So it's got its translation in Spanish here. Amazing album, of course. And now it's going to be re-released again with a live album. Together with a live album. So it's going to be like, I think, triple vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. You already can pre-order it now. Okay, and there's so much more here that I can show, but so magazines I've been reading in the shop, you know, you know, La Gebi, a new Spanish magazine, has been going since 1982, still going strong. Another number of La Gebi, you know, the Dutch art shock from June. And just this week I got the new one, in, and it's here, the new art shock. I even didn't open it yet. I got it by on the post before my my aunt bought it, but she died. And I now I get it from the post. See, on the post. Uh, oh yes, I listened to this one by Protector, Dead Thrush Metal. I really they just made a new album. I have it on tape, the new album, but this one. Came out some years ago on High Roller Records in 2013, and it's a very strong album. You know, these guys know exactly how to write uh, the ri good songs. You know, death thrash metal from Germany. You know, they came they, they came back after many years. But they were quite active in the 80s. More of like a show. I just check. just gonna pick out some more things maybe. This is quite a rare one, actually. You know, it's a white metal album. Holy Ride, Stand As One. And here we have the vocalist from the band Titanic. You know, the white metal guys. You know, for sure no Titanic from the 90s. You know, they were a band like, that sounded very much like Amor Saint. You know, that, that type of, uh, of US power metal, you know. And uh, he was also the, um, the final X vocalist that did the album Beyond Hell's, Hell's Gate. And it's all signed by all the band members. I bought it like this in the 90s. And it must be very rare now. It is, it's actually quite a rare record, but it's all signed by the band. The last one I'm going to show. Okay, let me see. Pick out. A good one. They all, they're all good ones to me, of course. Why not these ones? These two. I've been playing this quite a few times this week. Because here we have a song called Halloween is on here. And this is uh, 220 volts. This is the third album by the band. Uh, Mind Over Muscle. And this is the last heavy metal record. After that they, become, they became a lot more commercial. You know, like so many other bands you know, did the same thing. They changed their style, like from the mid '80s on, and uh, two, 220 volt did the same thing. You know, or Europe did it too. You know, like the final countdown, they really changed there. Or uh, Mindless Sinner, you know, but but 220 volt did the same thing. Mad Max too. The early stuff is heavier. I can go on and on like this. Pretty even pretty mates. They, they changed, putting adding more keyboards in their sounds, and more ballads. But anyway, this is still a great heavy metal records. So many great songs on here, like Halloween, Touch of Fire, uh, Power Games, just 
a must-have album, of course. And I, was, I said that was the last one, but this is such a cool record. Also from '86, from '88, Cloven Ho, 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 Dominator. Okay, and that's it. That's it. Apparently it's gonna be too long the video. Okay, maybe you can see my cat still here. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Timmy. Sorry, he doesn't want to look. Okay, stay metal, everybody. Have a great Halloween. Take care, everybody.